Yeah. Errol Spence Jr. finally responds to the ESPN report that he's fighting Terrence Crawford potentially November 19th. Stay tuned. What up, Fight World? It's your boy Ego, and I'm back with some more boxing. SLC. That stands for subscribe, like, and comment. On the road to 300,000 subs, you can be a part of that. Reach one, teach one. Help us get there on the channel for all your boxing needs. Your access is now being granted. All access, I give you boxing 24-7. Let's go. Now, I made an earlier video, and if you haven't seen that video, stay tuned to the end of this video. I'll probably put a card or something. Check out the content. ESPN has reported that the fight with Terrence Crawford, Errol Spence, the only two remaining champions in the welterweight division, right? That they have agreed. This is coming from ESPN. They've agreed to fight each other for November 19th. But wait, there's more. The fact that they have allegedly agreed, according to ESPN sources, we're not out the woods yet. There's no like actual confirmation from the parties involved, which I'll get to in a second. Now it appears Errol Spence has responded. You guys see right above my finger. Right around the same time where this report came out from ESPN, Errol Spence at a little afternoon, 1233, that's what he posted. So in the afternoon, everybody was talking about it. Oh, Errol Spence Crawford. Everyone's on Twitter was talking about Errol Spence on his verified page. You see what he posted. Short, sweet, no words. You know, I'm assuming this is a full disclosure. I'm assuming that's what he's responding to because Errol Spence, sometimes he's on social media, sometimes he's not. The time frames coincide. And you got guys like Gervonta, you got guys like Errol Spence, and they're pretty... What's the word? They're pretty cautious about what they say. And oftentimes it's subliminals. You know, they they leave a lot of subliminals in terms of what they're saying. And, you know, there's times where Errol Spence has said something. And the world believes he's talking about Keith Thurman. But then he won't actually say Keith Thurman's name. So it's a little bit of speculation on my part. Based on the time frame, it just all matches up. And he put the yawning emoji. Like, uh, uh. So, what does this mean? I mean, it's hard to tell. But from my perspective, me recording this video, I believe he's just saying, like, it's a waiting game and he's waiting. This is how I'm interpreting it. You know, you guys are welcome to ask Errol Smith yourself. But the way I'm interpreting it is, I think Terrence Crawford and his side has been more or less the delay in terms of this fight taking so long if you ask any boxing fan we've heard the same rumors they could fight november december then the reports came out that december was out of the question so it looked like it was now or never even errol spence in a past interview he says i want terence crawford and basically now or never if it don't happen next then it probably never gonna happen because you gotta think about it terence bud crawford free agent no longer with top rank there's no real hindrance or obstacle why wouldn't the fight happen they're the last remaining guys with belts as i mentioned at the beginning of this video so it makes all the sense in the world for them to fight for undisputed and if they can't get disagreed upon then you know maybe it doesn't happen but luckily for us boxing fans at least according to ESPN, they're saying that there's a likelihood that this fight could happen and could happen next. So, you know, ultimately it won't matter who's to blame for the delay and who caused the delay and, and those types of things. But in my honest opinion, I do believe this is more of Crawford's side because you got to look at it. Errol Spence, none of his fights have seemingly continued to labor on and became this laborious where it's just months of dead air and nothing else was happening like all of his fights no matter who Ugas had just beaten Pacquiao he certified and solidified himself as a champion 
and seemingly the fight was easy to slide Errol in and pause and make that fight. Errol was slated to fight Manny Pacquiao. I, I believe the people I, I want to participate. Uh, tu, 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 tu. Right? Supposed to fight Manny Pacquiao. Same kind of deal. When he was supposed to fight Manny Pacquiao, Manny Pacquiao just posted. There was no like long back and forth from Pacquiao and Errol Spence about the fight. There was not, it didn't drag on for months. This is literally the only fight where it seems to have um, been this long process. And the only new equation is a non Al Heyman fighter to this point, you know, and that's Terrence Crawford. So ultimately, we will see in the upcoming weeks what it is. I also think it's a bit stealthy and strategic to announce this potential fight right ahead of Canelo versus Triple G part three. You know, they're fighting this weekend, so maybe they've just been sitting on this news and wanting to wait till Canelo's going or until people are paying attention to boxing to uh, to say something. But in my honest assessment, in my honest opinion, I do believe that Errol Spence Jr. is kind of probably sick of waiting. And that's why he, he could have possibly left this tweet that you see from his verified page with the yawning emoji. That's my best guess of why Errol Spence would have possibly put the yawning emoji. I think he's tired of waiting. I truly, truly, as I said in this video, throughout this video, I don't think Errol Spence was a holdup. I don't think Errol is a tough customer in terms of like negotiating. Some guys will like Canelo slap you around and, you know, bully you in the negotiating side, want rehydration clauses, quick turnarounds. We haven't really known Errol Spence to do those types of things. And typically more often than not, his fights seem to just get made. So Terrence Crawford, he's the one that there's interviews where he's quoted saying he wants 50, 50, the lion's share of money. He wants 60, 40 and other things that really don't make sense. Considering the fact that Errol Spence has three of the belts of the four and he only has one considering the fact of they've been branded different i think you know crawford's tenure with top rank and the way he was branded he was not given the red carpet treatment like lomachenko like tyson there's only one tarzan for it like he wasn't treated like them you know and it showed he hasn't done the same pay-per-view number so all in all errol spence he's the a side hey stop that cat man now in the last 30 days, I looked at my YouTube analytics and it showed me 50% of the people that watch my content for free on YouTube, they hit the subscribe button. So thank you. We're on the road to 300K. 300K. Y'all can help get the channel there by subscribing to the channel. If you love boxing, then you should enjoy the channel. I will keep you guys posted. Errol Spence, Terrence Crawford. Errol Spence, that's his only response that I've seen. I haven't seen of any... Um, actual announcement from pbc showtime fox there's possibly a bidding war there i haven't seen crawford say anything you know crawford posted a clip the other day of him training so we'll have to see how it all plays out i will certainly keep you guys posted with the latest and greatest what's going on with the errol spence versus terrence crawford mega fight let me know how i did in this video slc subscribe like and comment and i'm out introducing super things Right here on the official Boxing Ego YouTube, Super Thanks allows you, the viewers, to show a little bit of extra gratitude, which enables me as a full-time content creator to push out the content you need in the world of boxing. Underneath all the videos, you will see a heart with the dollar sign in it. You can enter any amount that you find suitable as a Super Thanks. A brand new interactive and colorful way to get your comments highlighted and noticed by not only myself, but other people on the YouTube platform. Super thanks, a unique and cool way to show and applaud us full-time content creators. Hopefully you guys enjoy the content. Super thanks. The future is now. The Hibernation Fives by Kenichi Bear. Hybrid gaming and lifestyle headphones. Out of the box, you can connect to any console or PC. Bluetooth ready with a low latency USB adapter, color RGB and extreme bass mode. The Hibernation 5s adjust to you. Whether you need a gaming, travel, gym, or lifestyle headphones, the Hibernations got you covered.
The new Hibernation 5s, link in the description. Customize the way you hear the world. Welcome to the nation. Are you tired of your YouTube videos not getting any views? Well, consider TubeBuddy. I've used TubeBuddy for years to scale up my YouTube channel. Now we're sitting over 200,000 subscribers. TubeBuddy is a browser extension that offers a ton of built-in productivity and time-saving services to take your channel to the next level. Use my link in the description to get started with TubeBuddy and level up your channel faster. We work.